Today, we will talk about the deposit multiplier. The deposit multiplier is the maximum amount of money that a bank can create for each unit of money it holds in reserves. This percentage is determined by the reserve requirement set by the Federal Reserve. The deposit multiplier is connected to the portion of a bank's deposits that can be lent to borrowers, injecting money into the nation's money supply and supporting economic activity. It is an indicator of how banks can increase or multiply deposits. The deposit multiplier is the inverse of the percentage of required reserves. So if the reserve requirement is 20%, the deposit multiplier is 5. For every $1 a bank has in reserves, it is able to increase deposits by $5 through lending. The money multiplier reflects the change in a nation's money supply created by the loan of capital beyond a bank's reserve, while the deposit multiplier provides the basis for the money multiplier. The two terms are closely related but distinctly different. Fractional reserve banking is a system whereby a portion of all money deposited is held in reserve to protect banks' daily activities and ensure they can meet withdrawal requests. The amount not in reserve is loaned to borrowers, adding to the nation's money supply and supporting economic activity. The deposit multiplier is an indicator of how much a bank's lending activity can add to the money supply. The higher the Fed's reserve requirement, the smaller the deposit multiplier and the less of an increase in deposits created through lending. Take the Federal Reserve's reserve requirement for banks, divide that figure into 1, and the result is the amount of new money that could be created. The lower the reserve requirement, the greater the amount of money that can be created. Here are four key takeaways. 1. The deposit multiplier is the maximum amount of money a bank can create for each unit of money of reserves. 2. This figure is key to maintaining an economy's basic money supply. 3. It's a component of the fractional reserve banking system. 4. The deposit multiplier is different from the money multiplier, which reflects the change in a nation's money supply created by the actual use of a loan. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.